guys. It's Ray. And Jay. Again. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since our last video. Yep. Um, like I mentioned in our very first video, I don't really collect all that many boxes. And we are poor and therefore haven't seen very many movies either. Yep. But today we got... We got us a Blair Witch. Bam Box. Bam Box. Blair Witch. I don't... It's out. I'm going to see it. Oh, is it out? Oh, it's out. Oh, well shows you how much I know about what movies are out. Anyway. Um, if you're going to see it, then I'll totally see it. Okay. We'll post another car interview again <laughs> for all the five people who like that. Nice. <laughs> five is more than I expected. Okay. So, Bandbox, what is our theme? Our theme for September is strange. So, uh, we're looking at um, Stranger Things, most definitely. If you guys haven't seen that, you are like probably the only five people in the world who have seen it. I think seen everyone's it, so. seen it. Everyone's probably seen it. So, you know, that's super awesome. Um, other strange things, maybe Alice in Wonderland. Oh, I didn't think about strange. that. I was thinking Doctor Strange is upcoming. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Um, I'm not honestly a fan of um, Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange in the MCU, but... Mm -hmm. You know, Stephen Strange himself in the comics isn't that bad, so maybe it'll be something comics related and not movie related, and I'll be happier. And if it's movie related, you could sell it. <laughs> yeah, although I haven't sold anything yet, because <laughs> I need to get on that. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open our box and see what we got this month. Me or you? You. Okay. Put it on your side. No, I was just opening it up. Oh. Oh. Are you looking? I'm looking. Don't look. I'm sorry. There's a thing. I had I had to un disconnect this. Okay. So. Yellow. Ooh. Okay. Um. Doesn't yellow mean instant? Hold on. Okay. So first thing. Oh, that's thing, different. First thing. Um. Okay. First thing we have a yellow one up. Um, as we learned last month, uh, they're now doing different colors for every different one up. I feel they, like yellow was instant winner. Yeah, it's oh, uh, no, the golden star is the instant winner. Oh, the yellow is an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. Okay. So that's really cool. The thing that I was confused about that's new and different. Was, um, the Spoilers. spoiler page that they have usually at the bottom of the box is now this booklet. So it's got the community stuff, it's got stuff that we're not going to look at yet because we don't want to know what it is. But I can see on the cover that there's stuff I'm going to like. Right. But I also see Benedict Cumberbatch's face. Yeah, so we're just going to throw this over here for now and see what we got. Moving on. Alright, so first thing of course is going to be the pin on the flat portion of the box. And, ooh! Oh my god, I love this! What is it? It's Lydia! Oh, Lydia no, no, no. from Dude. Oh, that's Isn't this excellent. Amazing. Oh my god. Ooh, like, oh, that's good. Yeah, Lydia is my favorite of Beetlejuice. It's Beetlejuice. everyone's favorite. I mean, she's amazing. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, she's the only one I can actually remember the name of. I can imagine Beetlejuice, some but... people might like Beetlejuice, <laughs> but I like Lydia. Yeah, and Lydia, the Lydia was totally the best. Yeah, so Lydia. That's did. great. That is amazing. I love it. I'm gonna see it. And while he's gawking at that, I'll go ahead and open the box. How do I open boxes again? Um, with your hands. I don't think so. With your teeth? Me. Okay. Yeah. All right. So first thing I'm feeling is packing paper. As always, a delight. Throw it back there. Um, is it like limited edition wrapping paper? Absolutely. Yeah. Limited edition wrapping paper. It's awesome. I have a bag here. Ooh. It is... A gold and black bag. I actually really like that. It seems pretty. It, it's velvet and crinkly uh, stuff. What is that? I don't know. Hmm? Lame, maybe? Maybe. It's crinkly like a cat toy. <gasps> it's a what pocket watch. Are you? That's a pocket watch, right? That is a pocket watch. Right, let's see. It is the White Rabbit. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to show you guys in a minute. I'm not finished ogling it yet. That is gorgeous. Oh, the rabbit's on front. Yeah. Okay. So we have the rabbit on the front here. Okay. And it's got some really pretty filigree designy stuff at the back. I want to see. And you I know how to work those things. So I'm I, just going to get that to you. I do. I'm going to look at it first. Okay. 
you press the top. Mm -hmm. He's got tons of pocket watches. So. I have two pocket watches. Two? I thought you had more than that. I have two. One from each of my grandfathers. Hmm. Um, well, that's nice. It's running. Oh. That's cool. So here's the inside. It's a, just a plain, nice pocket watch. There's the inside of the lid. This is really nice, it's actually. Cute. Huh. All right, then. It's got its own bag and everything. That is nice. I like it. Cool. Okay. All right, let's see what else we've got here. I have a tin container of something. The dream is real. Okay. Is, is that meaningful to you in any way? No. Nope. All right, well, let's open it up and see what we got. Some foam. Foamy stuff. Dice? <gasps> no! It's the uh, loaded die and the... It's the top. The top. This is from from Inception. Inception. This is amazing. These are the tokens. The, yeah, the totems. Totems? Totems. Not tokens? Totems. Okay. Totems. And there's the loaded die. Is it loaded? I don't think so. Here's a five. And a two. It's not loaded, but it's pretty cool. So, yeah, that explains The Dream is Real, Inception, super cool. That top, though. It's not loaded. It's not loaded. <laughs> Keeps trying it. But, like, this has a really nice weight to it. Can I? Like, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I, I can't use it as my totem anymore, but... Oh, <laughs> Um, you couldn't have any anyway. yeah, True dogs. Jill is your totem. Oh, God. I'm Jill's totem. <laughs> Jill is my Siamese cat, by the way. You may see her occasionally wandering, sadly, up and down the halls. All right. Those are nice. And the top spins. Uh-huh. It wobbles, so this is real life. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Very important. Add the cushioning. Got it. Neat. All right. Let's see what else. Is Inception strange? Maybe. It's a little strange, yeah. There is a something here. It is a what Brothers Grimm comic book. It's a first issue dynamite comic book. Um, Grimm. It looks like it may be like an ash can of some sort, maybe? Because it's got kiss it on says, the back. Yeah. And it's definitely one comic. So this is like a, a preview ash can yeah. kind of thing. That is really cool, and it's packaged really nicely, too. Mm, yeah. Cool. Huh. Okay. Well, Do you know anything about that series? I know absolutely nothing about that series. Okay. I mean, I, I know a little bit about the uh, Kiss um, as Superheroes um, comic, but I never picked it up. And now you have issue number two. Well, I, I bet I have like half of issue number two and half of issue number one. Yeah, probably ash so. cans. Well, no, it's not technically an ash can. It's like a preview. Ash cans are, are smaller, smaller pieces. So. I have uh, instructions for something or other. Ah, uh, instructions to, for uh, <laughs> something we haven't gotten. Something yet. I, I guess I don't know. Oh. Clunk. Something went clunk, but I picked up our oh, um, print, okay. the signed print that everybody gets, and it is Doctor Strange. It but is not Benedict Cumberbatch, so nice. I am happy. And you know what? I like the art. That is really cool. It makes me think okay. of like 60s Disney. In a way. Yeah, this is great. I do not know who it is, but we'll find out when I reclaim the spoiler book from the floor. That's pretty. That is gorgeous. I really like that. I wouldn't be ashamed to hang that up. And then something went clang, which I'm assuming is the thing I have in my... Oh! Uh, yeah, there it is. All right. So <laughs> what we have is the Demogorgon... Demo Gorgon right. Killer. Yeah. Um, step one, take the nails that are right here. Step two, insert into that. Step three, kill the Demo Gorgon. Avenge Barb. Oh, Barb! That Avenge is what Barb! I freaked out about I when I was reading it. Avenge Barb. <laughs> yeah. This hell yes. is so cool, and it's got that right there. This is a cute piece of. That's a neat little thing. As always, spam box is my favorite. Yeah, this is, that's fun. <laughs> I just love it. I, I love it every time we get it. 
Cool. All right, I think that may be it. I didn't hear anything else and I don't see anything else, so. All right, so. I'm guessing the comic or the watch. Really? As my. You don't yeah. think the. No, because that's out of 1999. So oh, that yeah, is right. the normal print. Okay, so get the book. So, but, but I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that it is either the thing here or the pocket watch. I bet it was the pocket watch. Okay. That was really cool. Let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna take a look at our spoiler guide here. All right, of course, we have our traditional, see what different kinds of things you can get. Oh, that's cool though. It looks like our post for your post your favorite item and take a picture of it and Instagram it. You get a chance to win a Stanley signed Doctor Strange issue, which is really nice. I'm not a Doctor Strange fan, so as much as I love Stan Lee, I will not bother. We didn't get any Willy Wonka stuff. Willy Wonka's on the cover. Hmm. Oh well, moving on. Okay, so Beetlejuice pins. Beetlejuice pins. We have. Lydia, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and the Shrunken Head Guy. And the Shrunken Head Guy. And it looks like the one up is the black and silver version mm -hmm. of the Shrunken Head Dude. I like the one we got. Yeah, me too. Lydia for the win. Mm -hmm. Demogorgon Killer. All right, Demogorgon Killer. Very important. Just in case we find ourselves in the upside down. It's a replica bat. Okay, so custom Alice in Wonderland White Rabbit pocket watch. Okay, so this is something that I'm sure everybody's getting, which I think is cool that everybody got that. That is a great item. Okay. All right, and then we have a teaser for October's theme, which is watching. Watching. Is that, a, okay, I see Pinhead. It's Jason Michael Myers, and Freddy. Jason, Pinhead, and Okay. Yeah. And also a cabin in the woods. A what cabin in the woods? Who knows? There's 800 of them. Oh my God, that's going to be a good box. Right? <laughs> like, it's October. I'm, I'm ready. Woo. Oh, by the way, it's Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. Not quite yet, but it's there. Yes. It's fall. It's Halloween. It's fall. It's Halloween. <laughs> All right. So then, oh, oh that's it. That, that is. Okay. So we've got the totem set from Inception. <laughs> Alex is making herself happy on the um, rat, on the packing paper I put down there. All right, so it looks like the black and white cover is the variant, but it also has a color cover as well. Sort of like the color one better. Right, but you know, that's just because we're partial to color, but. Oh yeah, you know me. <laughs> Partial to color. Like, inside your black soul, you secretly want colors. Okay. You just don't want to wear them. <laughs> All right, so don't even get me started on that. All right. All right, so, but th that is really cool. It's, the, uh, it's a Bandbox exclusive comic, actually. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's a Bandbox exclusive? Yeah. Oh, look, it just says BAM on it. Cool. That is cool. Okay. All right. Okay, and then we have... Oh, God. Oh, 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 that's what it is. Oh, okay. The print, we had one of two prints that you could have gotten. So we got the Doctor Strange one, but you could have gotten the Willy Wonka one, which explains. Can I see what it would have looked like? Yeah, that looks really cool. You know what, all things considered, I like this better. Wow. I think it's gorgeous. I love this art. Huh. Love it. I like Willy Wonka better than I like Doctor Strange by a wide margin, mm -hmm. but this art is gorgeous. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then the last thing we could have gotten a Dustin is, hat. Yeah, if you had the Golden Star, then it, you had a recreated Dustin hat signed by the actor. Ooh, that would have been a nice one. Cool. So you guys who got the Golden Star are really lucky. lucky. You. All right. Cool. So, what's your favorite item of the box? I forgot to do this for the last couple of boxes, but it's one of my favorite things. Well, I really love the Lydia pin. Yeah. But I think it's the Doctor Strange art, which is so, so odd for me. Yeah, we were just talking before we started filming about how unhappy, <laughs> like vaguely unhappy. I was we expecting about. Benedict Cumberbatch, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I didn't get his face. It's actually Steven. And the art is, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful color, honestly. Like, that, that's an amazing piece. Um... 
I'm gonna guess. You're probably right. Um, I think my favorite may be the pocket watch. Um, I'm not usually a fan of pocket watches. I, I mean, I, I like them in general. Uh, but the fact that everybody got one of these. That's pretty neat. And the fact that, like, the it looks so ni like nice and clean inside and so interesting outside. And it has that Alice in Wonderland aspect to it. Like, I really like this piece. It's great. Yeah. All right. But... <laughs> This was fun. I'm going to put it together. You're going to put it together? Heck yeah, I am. We're going to kill some Demogorgons. All right. This will always be prepared. Yeah. Okay, so well, that's it for this month's spam box. Um, Any... I super liked it. Yeah, it was a good box. I'm happy. Yeah. I was not offended or grossed out by anything. Which is always a bonus. Um, what's the next box? Um, I have been told that my horror box is coming. Um... I, or is that the horror block? Yeah, it's a horror block. Okay. Um, I decided to cancel my subscription just because uh, collecting too many boxes and once again I'm poor. Money. So <laughs> I can't really afford it. I have to pay down my credit card before I do anything else. Um, and then I should have my mystery box coming in pretty soon too. Yes. They finally sent it on the 21st, so that's exciting. So they're both on the way? Yes, they are both on the way. Cool. Um, so you'll see both of those videos um in maybe a week or two and if we're gonna go see the Blair Witch Project then we'll probably talk about that too mm -hmm. um I don't know how well you're gonna be feeling after the movie to be honest it doesn't matter how well I'm gonna feel because I'm gonna watch it okay I might like um whenever he watches found footage films on the big screen it's not just found footage it's anything that has a lot of handheld which is common to mm -hmm. found footage of course yeah um so he, he gets a little motion sick a little bit um, I remember the story that he told me. Um, Arkansas has this uh, genre festival. It used to be specifically a horror film festival, yeah. but now they changed it to change it to genre. And there was one. So was it Delivery? I think the movie was called Delivery. It was a found footage oh. film that starts out as like. Um, a reality TV show about newlyweds, and or not newlyweds, about people who are getting pregnant for the first time, about how they prepare to have the baby, and then it turns into a whole bunch of... There was two about pregnancy stuff. that year, and one of them was Proxy, and one that's not the one. Proxy, the other which was... Which is good. I'm pretty sure the other one was Delivery. Was it Delivery? That doesn't sound right to me. Well, whatever it was. If I'm wrong, we will put it in the description box. You're probably right. Um, but I remember distinctly, he had to leave at, like, the ultimate climax of the movie oh yeah it was the climax of the movie i just went outside and like stood outside of the theater and i could still hear what was going mm -hmm. on and didn't you say like like the director was sitting at the back of the oh right the back of the theater the watching were, people the filmmakers were there and so, like saw me like walking out during the climax <laughs> and they're like what, what did they say and they're like no don't leave yet it's like the climax of the movie and he was like sorry yeah sorry, sorry dude feeling so sick <laughs> Too much handheld, can't handle it. <laughs> tragic to me, like, like uh, just as a creator, like. Oh, I know. I feel really bad. I had to walk out and climax with the filmmakers right there. Yeah, but um, I mean, you did it for a reason. Unlike me, just scoffing loudly at every bad movie. Right. Short yeah. Film See, that's that the I thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm polite when the filmmakers are there, and I'm not. She does I, not I, care. I forget. <laughs> that filmmakers are at film festivals and so unless i'm specifically there for like a q a so she'll movie, like scoff loudly with the filmmakers literally sitting right next to us <laughs> which i don't I, I don't think about it so and, embarrassing. And, and honestly i only <laughs> did it for the arkansas short films which embarrasses me even more um because they are local creatives you want to support, support our local them. artists I'm like, I am supporting them by being here in here. And if they're not entertaining me, then they don't. Man, that's brutal. Like, I, I, I mean, <laughs> it's why we are so unhappy with the disappointments. We're like, if, if mm. we're not being entertained for what we're paying for, then I'm not going to coddle them just to make them feel better. Well, that's because you're a bad them, person. I want them to make better stuff. And the only way they'll do that is if they know what they're doing wrong. So you're just scoffing loudly as a public service. <laughs> No, I'm scoffing loudly because I forget they're there. <laughs> In general. <laughs> All right. I'm a horrible person. Okay. Anyway, anyway. we're going to maybe watch Blair Witch, and I may or may not throw up. <laughs> so we'll see um, I'll let you guys know if he does throw up I got so sick in, like in the original Blair Witch Project in the 90s or whenever it was 
Um, it was the first found footage I had ever seen, like a lot of people, I think. And um, it was summer, if I remember correctly, and we were on like vacation or something with my parents because I was like a teenager, I think. And um, it was hot in the theater and it was packed and I just got sicker and sicker and sicker. And I thought <laughs> that it was I was- because of the crowd and the heat. Yeah, I thought it was because of the crowd and the heat and Years later, we were watching Paranormal Activity three on the big screen. Or no, I don't think we watched that one on the big screen. I think we watched that. I don't remember what it was, but years later we saw some found footage movie on a big screen, and I was like, "Oh, it was this is one what of I felt." The paranormal Activity movies for sure. Yeah, it's not a sensation I usually have. Is motion sickness? That's not really my like. I don't do that, but mm, it's a very distinctive feeling. I've only got gotten motion sick twice. Mm. Well, anyway, we're going to watch it and <laughs> review it, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But I want to thank you for watching, and you should like the video if you like the video. <laughs> or you can subscribe if you like us. Oh, nice. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> and thank you guys for spending 20 minutes with us while we totally went off topic and rambled for a bit. Yeah. So have a good night. Bye. Bye.